Now, something that's got us all talking this morning, well, is it talking or yelling, I think, probably, <laughs> this morning, is e-scooters. They <gasps> seem to be everywhere at I, the moment. I hate now, <laughs> Sorry. As the world is trying to be more <laughs> green, is it time that we just accept that they're going to be on our roads legally sooner rather than later, Nadia? I mean, the thing is, the idea behind it is brilliant. It is green, more people can get about, less cars on the road. But they're dangerous. Nobody can tell me anything different. They are dangerous. They are scary. All these silly kids that think they're so cool, a bit like Judy. I was just <laughs> you know, I was using just... one hand. And I'm was... saying, that's, that's I our plan. hate them. I absolutely <laughs> hate them. And I don't know if, 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 if it's legal to go on the pavement, but I, I've never seen an e-scooter anywhere other than on the pavement. No, so apparently at the minute it's illegal for e-scooters to be used on public roads. They can only be used on private land with the landowner's permission. Wow. But apparently all over the country the government is running trials at the moment, 23 areas, with rental e-scooters. So in those areas, if you have a rental e-scooter, you can go on the road, but not, not um, motorways. So you wow. mean all these people that were seeing it, that's not legal? No. Everywhere? No. I mean, I was in the park the other day and they're so no. quiet and seven boys were all on those e-scooters coming down, down the park. If I'd stepped one bit to the side, I'd been... I mean, they are quite intimidating, really aren't they? And they can go up to 70 them. miles an hour. What can about they? you, Denise? Well, can I just first say that I'm not so sad that I've got framed photos of the Hollyoaks <laughs> cast in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm actually coming live from my Hollyoaks dressing room, Ooh, so I just chose to explain that. Woo! Oh, no, <laughs> my, my, my two worlds colliding, so I just wanted to say. Um, but, yes, e-scooters. Now, I feel a bit of a bad parent because last Christmas, not the one just gone, Louis had asked for an e-scooter. So I didn't really look into the laws, which I should have. I just got in there uh, all singing, all down adult one. I got the kids, the little kids in the family, the few that are left, a, a sort of baby one. Now, with the little kids, it's fine. They're only sort of on private land, and if they go to the park and they're very slow. But I didn't realise until Lincoln, when he was doing his joke character, the isolator through the first lockdown <laughs> for a comedy video, took Louis Scooter onto the pavement opposite our house and he had no idea how fast it went. Mm. Literally, as you just said there, Nadia, so Jane, 70 miles an hour. This year, Matthew said to me, Mom, I'd like an e-scooter. And I said to Louis, well, give him yours. I don't see you on it very much. And he admitted to me the reason why is because he wrote it off by crashing into a wall. Wow. Oh, oh, my word. Wow. Well, that you know, I had no idea yeah. 70 and it was miles nasty. an hour. Up to, yeah, they're, they're really, yes, really nippy. And it says here, so um, one shop, 184% increase in sales of oh, these things. No. Oh, 700% increase in collisions. Do you know what? I think I wow. know a lot of people doing illegal stuff. I've seen so many people on them, and the thing that makes me so nervous is when I see them in the road, like in front of trucks, in front of lorries, oh, in front God. of cars. Yeah. And I think to myself, what is making people think that they're more safe on that when you're so exposed, you know, like a motorbike or so on? But at least of those people, you know, they have their little tests and they know what they're doing. But anybody, I've seen people on these e-scooters with their children. Really? Yeah, and I'm talking about little ones because they come up to, like, the handle. So we're talking, like, three-year-olds or four-year-olds. So four dangerous. Year olds. You'd think somebody or police or somebody would, would stop them. Because if you hit a pothole... I, it's a problem. I know someone who... Absolutely. ..used somebody else's, borrowed somebody, you know, just wanted to have a go, and they broke their knee. You know, they broke their knee, they can't but At the moment, work. we've got no room in the hospitals. We can't be having uh, e-scooters just, just driving around also, 70 miles per hour. Also, I do no as far as I'm aware... You don't have to legally wear a helmet. No. It's shocking. And I've seen, like I said, seen people on there with their children and they don't have any helmets. Going down hills, you know, and it's just so... I think it's just a yeah. worry. And you're right, Nadia, you don't hear them. I've been in my car and seen one go past me and I was so like... So quiet. Didn't know. It was totally their silent. It's quite dark, the frame of it. You just don't know they're It's there. so tricky, isn't it? But I, I, I kind of feel a bit sorry for police at the minute because they've got so, so much. much else on their plate. So to be able to have to police this as well... Um, but obviously we've all had a good rant about that and that's good because the study from Everyday Health has shown that anger can be good for you. Ooh. Oh, good, I've got loads of it. If it's addressed <laughs> quickly and expressed in a healthy way, oh. which I think we've all just 
shown. Uh, and quite a lot of you at home have been getting uh, in touch about what annoys you as well. Freddie, when you can't get your partner off the phone, they'd rather look at their screen than at you. Uh, Karen, homeschooling five kids. Oh, oh God. God. And checking they've completed their work, Karen. Oh, wow. We oh. feel your pain. We yeah. really do. Go and yeah. spend some time with the washing machine. Just oh. inside it and hug it. Yeah. Get and, it on and, and those are it. teenage children, <laughs> she says. That's it. Just teenage children. <laughs>